Hey y'all, welcome to 57 Heaven, and I'm going to give you a little preview, <gasps> but you can't see the engines because they're covered up. Darn it, darn it, darn it. But we have a guest who's going to be in here in just a second, Mr. Dwight Sanford, who happens to love a challenge. He loves a challenge so much. He's been doing a little bit of TV with me, and that is a challenge. <laughs> that is a challenge. Can we talk a little bit about cars? Yes, we can. You love cars better than you love TV? Hello, folks. <laughs> And welcome to 57 Heaven. Uh, yeah, I do love cars. And uh, this, we have a 1957 Custom, okay? Now, that's important. It's a Custom. Lowest quality one they had when they built them. They built them for poor folks, just like me and you. It came with a six-cylinder. Well... I was driving this car around, I got it from a cousin downtown, and I was driving it around and we decided to do a full restoration. And so we're well underway right now, and uh, as you can see, the engine is not in yet. It's over here on the stand, ready to go in. You can come this way. And the way. engine is a what? 312 Thunderbird. I don't understand why you do that. Can we not get a little well, bit Well, a Chevrolet engine don't fit in this car. No, but a 351 Cleveland? I got one over there, but they said not to use that. Okay, all right, the I got you. The interior's out. It's been redone. It's about to go back in. Might not show that up. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. and you didn't have a bunch of fabrication on this car. Wasn't a whole lot of fab going on on this car. It was in pretty good shape. We had some a little bit back there on that left quarter. And you chose this color. It had been hit color. and we didn't know it. You yeah. chose this color because why? It's the original color. It is. Gun Interesting. Gray. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be putting this engine in. It's going to get a whole new transmission. A T85 overdrive transmission is what's going in it. And the engine's all built, ready to go in. Ronnie Harrington built the engine. And it's, uh, it's pretty much stock. It's got a little bit of cam in it. it. You won't hear a whole lot. It's just a little. And it's got the original rear end gear, which is a 370 ratio, which is good. That's about good for an overdrive transmission. Mm -hmm. And uh, all new stuff. We got new stuff everywhere for this car. It's all new wiring. It's had a new wiring harness. <clears throat> now tell me about the, the wheels. Are those the original stock. wheels? Stock. Okay. No, they're not original no. for this car, but they okay. are stock on another 57 Ford. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, the color uh, looks great. Who did the paint job? His name was... Uh, it's top secret. It's highly classified. Oh, who did that okay. Paint don't job. tell me. Don't he tell don't me. He don't want me talking about it because he don't want me. no business. Okay, I got you. And I got <laughs> you. I got you. Now let's let's show a little bit of this color because it is pretty awesome. I don't remember this being an original color. I remember the blues and the greens, and yeah. but I don't remember this color. It was original color. Pretty flipping awesome. I know. Yeah. And, now, uh, <clears throat> now what about the trunk? Was the trunk in good shape? Oh yeah, yeah it was in good shape. We worked, uh, it's all, well, it's, it's locked. I don't have the key. The history of this car, tell me how many miles were on We it. think, I don't know, probably a bazillion, no telling. Mm -hmm. It, uh, Ronnie Harrington is who brought it to the county, mm -hmm. I think. And uh, he said it came from South Carolina. Okay. And he, I don't know who he sold it to, but my cousin Brent DeFore is who wound up with it. And it sat inside in the drive for, for many years up at his house. And me and him got to talking, and we worked out a trade. And then I was driving it around, you know, I was just going to use it for like an old driver. And then I thought, boy, it's just too cool. Let's do a full restoration. So we're, we're well underway. This thing will be coming together real soon now. And we do things right. We don't leave stuff sitting out in the rain or the snow. Right. And we do it right, and it stays in the dry, and it's going to always stay in the dry as long as I have it. And, uh, and 57, why is that 57 so important to you? When you I you was got a, three of them, so it has to be important yeah, to you. I know. Yeah, yeah. When I was a little boy, my brothers <clears> had 57 <throat> Fords, and a lot of my heroes, including Wilburn DeFore, my cousin, and uh, Winford Dotson, he had lots of 57 Fords. And uh, I always grew up loving 57 Fords. There my daddy go. had one. It was yellow and black. 
And the first car I ever And can drove, I say right yeah. there is about to turn into a yellow and it black? Is, it is. Now, it's going to be hard for people to understand, but that is a frame-off restoration, and it is complete frame-off everything that's is getting the, done. This yeah. got the same thing. This car and can, can we give a mention to Candy who's sitting over there in the corner? Candy Kane. That's her name. Because Candy is how we actually ended up talking cars yeah. because we did a parade together in Candy. And yeah. she did a good job for us. Yeah, and uh, that's old, uh, that is uh, Stan Childers' old car. And? Stan had it before he died. And, uh, he was the I principal of the school? Yeah, he was principal of the middle, or the, uh, the primary school for mm -hmm. a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was in the school system forever. And this is the same engine you're gonna put in the other one? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Thunderbird yeah. engine. And your obsession with those engines is? I just like them. They got a nice little sound to them. I like the sound. Yeah. And uh, they're plenty powerful enough for what I plan to do. With what this about car. mufflers and noise? You don't seem to like the noisy cars. Uh, not much. Uh, Is that from being a police officer? I don't know. Nah, I don't reckon. But uh, this car has, uh, what do you call those mufflers? Blast packs? No. Cherry bombs? No. No? that new thing they got. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, All I know is glass packs and cherry bombs. I can't think of the name Now, of it. tell me about the interior. Who did the interior in this? I don't know. I don't know. Stan had all this done. Okay. I think some people in South Carolina is actually who restored this car. Best it looks ever. awesome. Uh, it looks awesome. Yeah. I love this car. And it's great for parades. And yep. we decided it gets 12 miles to the gallon. I was kidding, but no. they don't get no whole lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The difference in men and boys, the price of their toys. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you happen to have really, really good taste when it comes to toys. So, you, you've got three 57s in here. Is that the end of your 57 rain, or are you going to go for more? There's that one in Jasper I'm wanting to get. Oh, uh, we're going to get that one. We're going to have to, we're going to have to get to working on Tightwad. Yeah. We're going to have to get to working on him. Yeah, this is a really, really cool car. Yeah. Now, let's go back to this baby, which is, she's kind of your pride and joy, right? It's, it's going to, well, this new here is going to be nice, too, when it's done. But right now, this car is by far the nicer one. The, yeah, I mean, and it really was the cheapest model they made. It was, yeah, it was the cheapest model they had. It had a little six-cylinder with a straight-shift transmission, no radio, no clock, <laughs> no carpet. It was just a low-end model. A lot of business guys uh, use these. Are you going to put an automatic? No. No, it's getting a T eighty five overdrive transmission. Okay, okay. And uh, a lot of army army officers and and big companies, you know, they they give these to their people that work for them, and they drove them around. Mm -hmm. okay. I myself think that this car came from an army base, but I don't know. You know, I saw some things that I thought might have indicated that it came from an army base, but hmm. who knows? Interesting. You know. Interesting. Now back to this complete complete job. Okay, when that one's finished, it's going to be black and yellow? Yep. Because your daddy had one like yep. that? I was 13 years old. Wow. And he used to let me drive it up there with him where we'd sit and wait on the bus. Wow. Wow, yeah. how cool is that? Is this one going to get the 351? No. No. It's getting the 390. It's right here. It's ready to go. I see. It's covered up. High You're performance. taking care of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 66 yeah. model. GT motor, they call it. So what stage is the body in in this one? I haven't been down there in a while, but it's coming along real well. Same guy's doing it that did this one here. The secret guy. The secret guy. Yeah, yeah. we can't release Is that, that why you sing Secret Agent Man? That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why yeah. I sing it. It's all if you about tell my me you'll have to kill me. Cars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you tell me you'll have to kill me. Right, right. Okay. All right. You obviously are a Ford guy. Would you you love the Chevelle? You had a sixty six Chevelle. I'm not necessarily a Ford guy. I do okay. like Fords, but I love Chevys too. I okay. love Mopars too. <clears throat> Mopar. Yes. Great, 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 great cars. era. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, is there a Chevelle in your future? Who knows? There's Hard one I know of that if a guy would ever come off of it, I'd buy it from him. He understands that, but the I have not Ludville? received the call. The one in Ludville? Didn't say where. <laughs> okay. But you'd like to know, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would. I would. Yeah, I know. I would. I would. But <clears throat> this car's going to be an automatic transmission. Is it? Done, done. Right there it is. There is the there transmission. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and again, when you look at these pieces and parts, um, you, you do some work at one shop, some work at another shop. 
Yeah. And you put it all together. Now, yeah. what did that 283 come out of? It come out of a 66 Chevrolet Impala. Good engine. Good engine. Good engine. Love yeah. them motors. I had a 70 Impala with a yeah. 283. Yeah. yeah. Love them 283s. Yeah, yeah. Now, are this you This is in... 57 heaven, but we got a few other things in here, too. Yeah, there's a few other things. If somebody's in the market to sell a car, are you interested in buying? If somebody's sitting at home watching us and they have a car that they'd like to sell, if they can get in touch nice with us. If you've got a nice 58 Ford Fairlane, yes. call me. Call me. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and we'll just say you can call him at 404-375-0590 yeah. 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 and we will, we will take care of business because that's what it's about. Yeah. It's about search and rescue, these beautiful cars, and you have, tell me the history of this one that is a frame off restoration. This car is a 57 Ford Fairlane, mm -hmm. not a 500. Ford made 50, uh, 19 models that year, okay? Wow. They made 19 models in 1957. They outsold Chevrolet that year. <gasps> they better be glad they did Don't because they was it. in deep with all these models they yep, made, yep. but they did. They came out and it's fine. And, uh, it's a 57 Ford Fairlane Club Sedan, okay? It's not a Fairlane 500. Wow. This car is, they're pretty rare too. Back in my days when we went for Dotson and all them boys had them things and they was driving around with them, I'd sit at Pumpkin Center on my bicycle and they'd start to pull out there, uh, coming out from the crossroads. Check this out. I hear that. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. I hear that. They're checking on the extended warranty in my, for my Can transmission. Can we tell people that you wrote a song about Ella J? I did write a song about Ella J. It's called Welcome to Ella J. And uh, that's why I'm Mr. Ella J. Because right. the reason you can't be Mr. Ella J is because you didn't write the song. That's right. Okay, anyway, that's, right. that's funny. That's right. Really funny. That's right. That's and, right. And uh, try to get up out of the floor now. I know that's <laughs> hilarious. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, Fairlane 500 Club Sedan getting a 390 66 GT motor with a C6 auto transmission. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it has a 300 gear in it in the back, back here. And that's going to go well with that setup. And uh, it's a pretty thing. I love these cars just as much as any of them. I just love 57 Fords. You know? it's I love obvious. a bunch of stuff. I it's love too obvious. many things. I love 58 Ford. If you've got one, <laughs> Call One me. Call. Yeah. Four oh four three seven five zero five nine. This ain't Ted Nugent or what's that guy's name? <laughs> Fred, no, what's his name? <laughs> the Nugent dude on TV. Yeah, not yeah, Ted. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> One call, that's, that's all. all. <laughs> that's right. What's his name? Ken. Ken. Ken Nugent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lord have mercy. Oh I cracked me. Have up. mercy. All right. Yeah. Now we are Seriously, this is serious Ford country, but you do love Chevrolets. Yep, I do. And, and we know the value of these cars. But how did they go up so fast? Lord, how did the value, know. They, you know... Well, they're so rare. You it, know, you don't just walk out and buy one. A Chevelle's $40,000 now if you know, get a good one. I know. And if you and, get a really good one, find, it's 60000 And if you find yes, one, yes. it's going to probably be in Arizona where this car was. Right, yeah. exactly. This car came from Arizona. Wow, wow. Yeah. And did it have any rust because it's dry in Arizona? It, 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 it is dry there, but uh, this car was in worse shape than what this one over here was. Oh, my gosh. But it ain't now. It's yeah. been fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, wow. We've done metal fab, and uh, we're about ready to start sanding and blocking most any day. And yeah. you chose black and yellow because that's what your daddy had? Yeah. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. It'll be that's just cool. like daddy's car. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is really, really cool. His name was George A. Sanford. Amon in the middle. We called him Aim. There you go. You want to know what I called him? What, Daddy? No. What? Diddy. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Actually, I'm Little Diddy. <laughs> oh, that is, you're crazy. <laughs> anyway. You're crazy. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tour of 57 Heaven. And again, the next time we come to you, maybe this car will have a body sitting on it. Because right now, what you're getting is a frame. And the next time we come back to visit, this car will have an engine in it because the engine is ready. Mm -hmm. And we are certainly ready to see it and to hear it. And um, one day I look forward to hearing something to make some noise out of this shop. Yep. So, yeah, this is really You'll cool. you hear it. This really? is going to be, they're both going to, they're all sweeties. They're just sweetie pie. We don't call her candy for nothing. Mm -mm. She's sweet. Well, beautiful, Love beautiful cars. Ladies. Thank you for letting us invade your privacy. Sure. See no you problem. later.
Bye, y'all.